Hello everyone, welcome to tutorial 11 of our introductory Python for image processing tutorial series. In the previous tutorial, you've written a few lines of code and I hope you felt very good about it. That's a good start. And now let's actually build on top of it by understanding what operators are and uh, writing a couple of lines for basic math equations. So let's uh, jump into the spider IDE. And again, spider is what we chose to work with uh, for our Python integrated development environment. Again, uh, on the left-hand side is where we type a long lines of code for to build a text file with uh, a whole bunch of code. On the right-hand side is where we type snippets of code. And on the top, you probably see help by default. Click on variable explorer so you can actually get a quick view of variables that you're going to use as part of your uh, coding uh, session. Okay, so for this tutorial, I'm going to use uh, the bottom right hand side for the most part and eventually get to the left hand side when we write, uh, uh, let's say, a few lines of code for an equation. But uh, the bottom right helps me explain things a bit faster. Like when we type a equals to 2, we did this in the previous tutorial. What's happening? I'm assigning a value of 2 to a variable a. So if you go up here in the variable explorer, you can actually see that my a is an integer of size one because I only have one number and its value is two. Now, if I type, uh, for example, a equals to two point, now you can see that the same a is now reassigned uh, as floating point. The value is the same, except now it probably needs uh, more memory to store the decimal points. OK, but program, uh, uh, but the value itself is two. Now, that is the single equal to sign. And if I say, for example, in future, when we load our images, typically we assign our image or the numbers or the pixel values in our image to a variable called IMG. So I just type IMG equals to, in this case, just a single number. OK, so my image IMG or my name IMG has a value of 25 and that is an integer. That's all it means. Now, so far, I've been showing you only numbers, but you can actually assign anything to any variables. For example, I just say b equals to, uh, hi there, how are you? Okay, so that's my b. So if you go up here, b is a string with a value of hi there, how are you? So that's literally, that's pretty much it. Now, if you type a plus b, it's going to say, OK, that's not cool. You're trying to add a number plus a string, and this is not supported. You can actually convert your numbers into strings and so on, but, but let's not, again, dive too deep into it yet. The whole point here is you can actually have uh, uh, you know strings and integers and floats, but you can actually type, uh, for example, a plus img is a value of 27. So if you type uh, a plus img, because they both are numbers, well, this is integer and that's floats, you can do that. But adding two to hi there, how are you, doesn't make sense. That's why Python uh, yelled at us. OK, now let's clear the screen and let's redo a equals to two part. OK, so we understand that. Now what happens if I type a equal equal to two? It should say true. OK. Double equal to is a logical operator. It's like me asking the question, is a equal to 2? And it's saying true. If I say a equal to equal to 5, it should say false because my a is not equal to 5. My a is 2, right? That's what we assigned. If I actually say my b uh, or let's actually say c equal to equal to 5, it should come back and say c is not defined because we have never used c right now. But if I just say c equals to 3 and then type exactly the same thing again, it should say false, right? Because my c is 3, here I'm saying is c equals to 5? The answer is false. But if I type c less than 5, the answer should be true. So less than this double equal to and greater than and not equal to. These are all logical operators. By the way, not equal to is C, not equal to five is true, right? So my C is three. 
and exclamation equal to means not equal to. So these are the four logical operators that you should be uh, familiar with because we'll be using it. And why would we be using any of them? Why does that even matter? Why does true or false even matter? Well, let's get to the left hand side and actually type something. Um, let's say our a equals to, uh, we are using a value of two, why not just use it? And my b equals to five. And now if I say if, okay, a is less than b, okay, I'm not still explaining if else uh, operators to you, I will do that in a separate tutorial, but I'm just showing you why anyone would need something like this, logical operators. If a is less than b, then go ahead for now, print, uh, I, I don't know, wow, coding is easy, right? And uh, what is the opposite of if, like, what if that doesn't happen? Else, right? Else, go ahead and print. I, let's say, hope I can code someday. Not as positive, but still hopeful, right? Okay, so there you go. So now let's go ahead and print this. So all it's doing is it's checking whether A is less than B. If so, it's going to print this. If not, it's going to print this bottom part. Let's go ahead and uh, run the code and you see, wow, coding is easy. Now, this is a quick example, but you can imagine, right? I mean, when you're processing your images and you're looking for certain values, if my cell size distribution is mean distribution, you know, cell size is less than something, okay? Then sort them as something else. Uh, for all the large cells, you know, sort them as something else. So this uh, logical operators can be very, very useful in in coding in general and even in image processing, we'll, we'll use them quite often. Like if you wanna create a loop, Okay, then you can go ahead and do that, which again, I almost started talking about loops, but let's save it for our next uh, upcoming tutorials. Okay, finally, let's end this by, uh, by writing a simple code for a math equation. So which is, again, this is not, not a math, let's say a physics uh, equation if you're scared of math, okay? Uh, e equal to mc square. Everyone knows this in the world, right? So this equation. So let's actually calculate this. Let's say my mass equals to 10. Again, I comment this as kilograms. If you just put 10 later on, you're like, is this grams or kilograms? Yeah, so commenting is easy. And you know the speed of light? Speed of light is 300 million, right? Meters per second. 300 million, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, meters, oh, sorry, I cannot just type meters per second. I need to comment it. Comment it. Okay, so this is my uh, C. So E equals to MC square is nothing but E equals to my M multiplied by c squared and now the question is well it's a bit confusing m multiplied by c is it m multiplied by c whole squared or is it m so always use brackets to separate the code so you know exactly what belongs together okay so this is our e equals to mc squared let's go ahead and print it print e let's first do this okay i'm going to print e First of all, let me clear the screen so it's a bit easy to see. Let's run this code again. Our E is nine and some number of zeros following that nine. First of all, let's, while you're printing, it's always a good habit to comment uh, uh, the output, meaning energy is, give it a space and then quotations comma. Okay, so it's going to print this and that. Everything that you would like to print, you separate it by comma, okay? So now let's go ahead and print it. It's going to print energy is this. So now you know that what you're seeing on the screen is energy. Now, I do not like all of those numbers, so you can format it. Again, you can look at the documentation in terms of how to format the numbers uh, various ways. But if I remember this correctly, this should be curly brackets, okay? And within this, it should be colon okay and uh, how many decimals do you want after you know the, the 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 point and then i'm going to print this in exponential format and let's close this and dot format it may sound a bit difficult but again uh, 
you can look at documentation i um i mean in fact i did do that before before this tutorials to see how to format this in the right format so let's go ahead and print the output so you see exactly what i mean so instead of nine followed by all these zeros i'm reporting it as 9.00 exponential 10 to the 17 this is our scientific format okay i'm showing this because i know most of you are scientists and you would like to report numbers this way so it's again Anything that you would like to format is in these curly brackets and uh, E stands for our exponential format. There are various other ways you can format your uh, uh, numbers. Go ahead and look at the documentation. Okay, so now uh, let's end this just by providing a, uh, an input. Now we know C is a universal constant. That's not going to change the speed of light. In fact, that's not going to change no matter what frame of reference you're in. But mass, of course, we are trying to calculate the energy for things that have different mass. So let me, uh, instead of giving mass right there, how about us providing an input from the keyboard? Okay, let's ask the user to provide this. The way you do that is M equals to input. If you say input, that means uh, we have to provide it. Now, if I run this code, you'll see that it stopped. There's nothing happening there. If I type 10, uh, it, it's doing something. OK, so first of all, let's fix that. Let's actually provide again commenting. Let's actually provide some text that shows up as part of our input here. Let's actually say provide a mass value in kilograms. OK, so this is what now let's go ahead and run it. It's still going to fail. I'm going to tell you, but at least you will see uh, the first line provide mass value in kilograms okay now i type 10. i i expected this to fail that's because if you look at our m value here you see in the variable explorer it is a string it's not an integer anything that you enter using your keyboard is a string by default okay let's fix that now i'm going to say my m is equal to int of m. I'm writing a new line, but you could also do this. Int do that. Okay, let's in fact do that to make the, the, the to make this a bit clean. Now it should run without an issue. So my mass is 10 and our energy is that much. Okay. So so far you learned about logical operators. First of all, how to assign variables, logical operators and why are logical operators useful? For our if and else type of statements, they can be very, very useful. That's just one example of many. And finally, we have uh, written a code for E equal to MC square, and you learned how to format uh, numbers, and you also learned how to provide input using uh, uh, the keyboard, okay? Rather than predefining the variable values. And we also learned that any keyboard input is by default, even though I entered a number, it's considering that as a string, and we learned how to convert a string into an integer just by typing int and then putting whatever uh, the string inside our uh, parenthesis. So let's continue building on top of this in the next tutorial. So I hope again you found this to be useful. Wait for the next one. Please watch the next one and let's meet in the next tutorial. Thank you.